Hi, taking a look at a new mouse, uh, new to me anyway. It is the Tikigogo Gyroscope 2.4G Air Mouse with voice. And it's this one. It's a nice little remote. It looks very similar to the uh, Xiaomi Mi TV box remote. Uh, the one on the left, that's that one, is the uh, Xiaomi. Uh, this is the accessory version which doesn't have a microphone on it. Uh, it works beautifully with the Mikul boxes and probably loads of other boxes. But it doesn't have a microphone and it doesn't switch on the TV box. It will only switch it off via Bluetooth. The middle one, this one, is the Mikul M8S Pro L with voice remote control. It's got the dedicated... Uh, and Google Assistant uh, button and a microphone up at the top there, which you can see there. And it does switch both on and off for the box because it's uh, it's actually infrared as well as Bluetooth. Uh, the only thing about it is it doesn't actually have a mouse pointer button. Most um, TV box remotes come with a mouse button uh, like that one. And that's a little mouse button that you press to get a, a cursor up on the screen, a pointer up on the screen uh, that you then move around with the cursor control. Um, the M8S Pro-L remote doesn't actually have a mouse button on it at all. So it's purely Android TV and it makes it difficult if you've sideloaded any non-Android TV apps. You have to use uh, an auxiliary device like a, a keyboard and mouse pad type thing. Uh, but this new one, the Tiki Go Go, uh, this one has got a mouse pointer. It's an air mouse and it's got a microphone and it learns the power button uh, in order to be able to switch your, your box on as well as off uh, because it's got an IR function on one button only. Now, the instructions that come with it are pretty clear. Um, they show you over here, it says... Um, Power IR learning, and it's on the power button, and it gives you the instructions on how to do the IR learning function. Um, and in fact, they're wrong. Um, and also, that button isn't the right button. Uh, what you actually have to do, move those out of the way, to program it up, it's actually very simple. You do, you do indeed press and hold the TV button until it starts blinking. And then it blinks fast and then slows down to a normal blinking rate. And then you press the button to learn and it blinks fast and it's learnt it. Now, if you then go off and try and use the, the power button, nothing happens. It, it only switches off because it remains a radio one. I, I checked looking at the end, you know, via the uh, uh, smartphone camera, which shows up IR uh, and it, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything, um, which is really odd. And then I discovered that, in fact, the TV button here actually is the one that produces the infrared out the front. The other one, all the other buttons do nothing out the front. Um, just the TV button, which is very strange. But, yeah, you can see it there. Um, but it works really, really nicely. It's flashing like that, slow flash. That says it's out of range or not connected in some way to its dongle which is actually a good little dongle it uh, pairs up automatically and there's instructions in the manual how to use it if um, uh, how to reset it and all that if uh, if it doesn't pair automatically when you first get it out of the box um, main thing is it's got uh, a microphone and it's got a mic button and it's got a mouse button and the TV button it does the power uh, careful you don't press it at the wrong time obviously switch off your box <laughs> um, but it's great I love I love 2.4G and Bluetooth because you don't have to point them at the box and you don't have to have clear line of sight and all that sort of thing except for power on and off um, or on in the case of this one because the off is still RF uh, it's very nice works very well uh, I'll explain a little bit more uh, maybe in a moment when uh, I show it working on the TV thank you Right, Tiki Gogo 2.4G wireless 
air mice with voice in use. Uh, it's about the same as all the other ones in that it's just responsive, nice, moves around quickly. It's got a bit of a click to it, noisy click, you can probably hear it. But then they all have all of these uh, three and the original, indeed the original one uh, without the voice. They all got the similar sort of click noise, which I don't mind the noise and I think it's nice to have a good feel to the buttons. Uh, it's got a good feel to the actual keypad area, which is that soft touch rubber. Uh, the other ones, uh, the uh, Mi Cool Pro L with voice and the uh, Xiaomi Mi TV box ones, uh, I've got a smooth central four-way rocker and OK button. Uh, this one's got a soft touch rubber feel to it, which is actually very nice. Uh, it's got the one thing that none of the others have is the mouse pointer, which you can just move around. It moves very nice and smoothly. It's got full six axis so you can either push it or pull it or slide it left and right or just twist your wrist and it moves very nicely clicks on things uh, as one might expect you click to select and then click again to to actually operate it um, and use things it's handy because with things like bbc iplayer and all these ones on this line here they're all side loaded uh, Android apps that don't properly use the uh, Android controller the Android TV controller um, the other ones like Kodi and YouTube and SP Media Center um, and all these ones ITV there they all use the the things correctly uh, and work without a mouse pointer you can switch the mouse pointer off um, and then you just got the normal thing again uh, but with some of them obviously the the ones that aren't designed for the Android TV it's really handy to have a pointer so you can just choose your thing from the apps drawer um, stress CPU nice speed test all these sort of things uh, CPU temp that's running in the bottom corner you see it's 49 degrees C 51 now um, it's a lot easier to use a pointer to move around this than to try and get get it to work with the uh, with the cursor keys left right up down and okay because you can't always tell with a lot of these things where you are they're expecting a finger pointer uh, it's nice to just be able to use that and if you just go back out of it go back to the uh, home screen you've got the search button up there uh, and you can it says listening so I didn't actually do it in time there uh, so click back click it again what are we going to do today and uh, he's got some results and you can go back out of that again and you can search again best route from Chicago to LA not working best route from LA to Chicago uh, there you go so it's all all good fun it doesn't work if you just click it you have to go back out and then click it again what is the best route what is the best route from Chicago to LA? Angeles is 29 hours from Chicago by car in light traffic. Here are your directions. Well, that worked. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that. Um, so with this, you have to, to use the voice function, you have to click the back button and then click the microphone button again and then click the listening button uh, the mic button on the remote and then it searches and does things and it's quite useful you know it's got things that you can do 
click it away and it goes to YouTube and goes off and does things. Uh, it's it's fine. I like it. It's so much easier than trying to work out what you're doing with a cursor on. And the in fact, it's impossible in some of the apps to do it without um, without using a mouse pointer and a keyboard and things like that. So it's much better. Uh, I like it. The only thing is it doesn't use the one push button that's on the Miko remote. But I don't think that's much of a loss because you are gaining the mouse pointer, which is, I think, more useful. And you can get around very easily just clicking the, uh, the search button and then pressing the microphone button and see what it comes up with. Thank you very much. I like it.